Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on, what you can expect, what's coming forward, what is unfolding for you. Okay, so let's get into your energy. And a reminder, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. We have Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Eight of Pentacles. Can you say, wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. At the bottom, we have the Death card. Something is truly transforming the situation. I feel like you are putting an end to some sort of situation and you are starting over again. You're starting over at the beginning, kind of, you know, working through the issues. You are totally expanding, totally moving forward, totally working on things that need to be working. You are becoming a master at what you're doing. You are becoming professional. And people look up to you for whatever it is that you're doing, Capricorn. You are progressing from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to the Fool to the Eight of Pentacles. You know, there. this is like huge, Capricorn. I feel like you are finding your way. You're finding, you know, something is coming very easy for you. You're, you've come into this situation with a lot of independence, a lot of know-how, a lot of wealth of knowledge, okay? And you're using that to gain your abundance, to gain your happiness, your strength, your ability. You know, you have a lot of happiness going on here. And you are taking this leap of faith. You're taking this new journey. This new, it, it could be a new job, a new, new love offer. You know, something is pushing. You are building your abundance. You're building your wealth here. This is generational wealth. You know, the Nine of Pentacles, this is already the wealthy lady. Okay, and then we, we're moving into the Ten of Pentacles. This becomes generational wealth. So something huge is happening for you right now, Capricorn. And I feel like you are becoming a professional in this situation. You have become a master of whatever this is that you're doing. And it doesn't matter what it is. You could be a master at creating um, books, creating cards, creating some kind of YouTube video. You know, you could be a master, uh, but you're starting this new journey, this new beginning, this fresh start, and you are building this generational wealth. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy, Capricorn. I'm so excited for you and what is coming and this transformation. This is crazy. Look at this. Capricorn, you're in a very strong position. This is your card. This is you transforming. You know, you're starting all over. You're beginning again. Something has ended and you are changing the, the situation to fulfill your needs. These are huge changes. Okay? So let's take more of a look. Let's get more information for Capricorn. Let's get more information for Capricorn. What's going on the next 48 hours? Temperance. Something that took a lot of time. You had a lot of patience with the situation. And it's brought about great changes. Um, it's building up your stability. It's building up, you know, the way you manage 
your finances. You know, you, your finances are going through a huge blessing at the moment. Because I feel like, you know, the dove represents a blessing. Okay? She's pouring water into this pool, which also represents healing. Okay? And then the sun comes up in the background, which signifies happiness and abundance. Okay? And, and I feel like whatever this is, I mean, you are going through this transformational time in your life to where, you know, maybe being stubborn at one point is pushing you through um, creating more abundance because of your stubbornness. You know, that's what this bull means here is being stubborn, Capricorn. But this is your sign as well. This is earth energy. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're being stubborn, but you're still holding on to that pinnacle. You're not letting anything get you down. You are holding on to that pinnacle for dear life. You know what I mean? So I feel like you, you are building your finances in a way to where maybe you've been saving for a while. Maybe you've been cutting back. But due to that... Now you're going through these huge, huge changes. You know, not only did we have the tower, we had the death card. You know, those are changes. The fool is a new beginning, a fresh start. Okay? So I feel like with this tower, something may have been unstable, so it had to crumble, but it is changing everything. Um, you can also see the tower as a blessing in disguise because something that was not built on solid ground has to crumble. And while it crumbles, something more stable is built in, in its place, you know. So I feel like huge changes are coming around for you, you know. And I feel like this is a very surprising time. Um, I feel like you're moving past your struggles. You have victory. See, he's taken these swords away from the enemy. And they've thrown their swords down in defeat. So he's holding his swords. He's no longer in the struggle or in the conflict. Now he has his victory. Okay? So the, this card in the after Torah is victory. So I feel like that is what you have. That is your victory, okay? You're gaining some sort of clarity, some sort of knowledge that has burst you forth into this gift of clarity. You know, something is becoming more clear. Something is becoming more um, apparent to you, okay? Something had to crumble so that this could emerge, so that is amazing energy, okay? Let's see, we have the Eight of Cups. So there is definitely something that you're walking away from. There's something that you had to let go of, but I feel like you had to let go of it in order to walk into your next journey, which is your contentment, okay? So I, I don't feel like there's a need to dwell on what you had to leave behind but dwell on what's ahead of you, okay? I feel like that's very important. Look at this. We have the Empress. So, I feel like you're very fertile for manifesting whatever it is that you want. Manifesting, you know, whatever gifts, whatever abundance you want at the moment. See that. Feel that. Okay? So, that's beautiful. There may be some sort of choice or decision that you need to make. There may be some kind of uh, decision that you're making for your family, for your loved ones, for the people that you take care of. 
okay i feel like you have set them as a priority and there's also going to be a reason for celebration a reason for a very happy time some kind of event some kind of celebration you'll be going to and also if you see the numbers 11 11 that could be very um significant for you at this time okay so very interesting aquarius no capricorn very interesting a capricorn sorry if i was calling you aquarius this is capricorn reading okay so you may be dealing with an aquarius or you may have a aquarius close to you um maybe a dear friend maybe a loved one maybe your significant other is an aquarius okay but we're going to get a message for capricorn what is going on for capricorn Okay, we have the Emperor. Now we just had the Empress. Now we have the Emperor. So that's very strong. That's a very strong message. We also have the Death card. So this is that transformation that we were talking to. I feel like you're definitely taking control of what is happening. What is transpiring in your life. You have complete control on the things that you work on. The things that you build. The things that you let into your space, you know, I feel like you're actively building on something that's going to bring you a lot of stability, a lot of support. OK, um, so with with this Empress card, the death card and this eight of Pentacles, I feel like you, Capricorn, are coming into your power something is truly transforming this situation now this is the second time we've gotten this death card so this is a confirmation that things are truly changing things are changing for the better they are whatever is bad in your life is ending and you are building your power your strength your abilities Okay, you're building on something that is going to bring you more power, more strength. Okay, things are happening very strongly for you right now, Capricorn. Look at this. We have the Four of Wands again. So I feel like, you know, this support, this ability is bringing you a reason to celebrate, a reason for get together. Some kind of union is happening. Um, some kind of celebration or happiness is unfolding for you okay so I, I feel like this is this is definitely going to be a very exciting time for you um capricorn let's see let's get some oracle cards for capricorn we have empathy i am open to seeing things Oh, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. I'm sorry, I can't read today. You know, I have an elective reading. Um, but I, I feel like you're, you're more empathetic to someone else's needs. There's someone that you're caring about. There's someone who's close to you that you kind of want to step in their shoes and kind of feel how they're feeling, if that makes any sense. Okay, and we have denial. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with this, the insight of awareness. And I do feel like you are being more aware at this time. I do think that things are coming together. Things are showing up in a very strong way for you at the moment. Um, two death cards in the tower. I mean, that is huge energy i mean that that's a lot of change that you're going through i feel like you know the changes are like coming overnight for you you know and you may have been working on things for a while but i feel like you're truly seeing the change now you're truly seeing some kind of profit from the work that you've done some kind of reward is finally coming through okay you have a time for healing so i think spirit is letting you know that this is a time for you to 
heal whatever you need to be healed. Uh, whether that be your emotions, your body, or um, your situation, okay? And the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever the situation is, Capricorn, I feel like it's just gaining momentum. So whatever kind of success that you're going through, I feel like that success is going to be snowballing. You know, it's not going to stop within this next 48 hours. Uh, it's going to be gaining momentum. You're going to truly see the full effects of this success during this much month of March. Okay? Um, so this is not only for the next 48 hours. I feel like this is for your, your entire month. Because whatever this success that you're seeing is happening very fast. We have new moon in Leo. Shine. Use your courage. Be fearless. You are shining like a diamond, Capricorn. We also have full moon in Libra. Find a balance. So I feel like there is a need for you to find some kind of balance. Some kind of... Feeling of being grounded, being stable, okay? Um, I feel like that's going to help you through whatever this situation is, whatever these changes are. But I'm, I'm really seeing that you are going to shine through this success, okay? Okay, we have the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. Definitely. When I think I, I've surrendered, I surrender more. Surrender your ideas to the universe. You know, I feel like that's going to make a huge difference it's going to bring some kind of awareness bring some kind of situation um but i mean this is just beautiful energy okay capricorn um we don't see too much love in this reading let's get a idea of what's going on with capricorn's love life tell me Capricorn's love life for the next 48 hours. Give me a message. The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, honor, protection, and power. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like if you're already in a relationship, I feel like, you know, there may be some truths that are coming out. There may be some kind of situation that you may be going through. But I feel like you have protection. You have the power to, you know, get through any kind of obstacle or challenge that you're going through. So if there's any obstacles in love, I feel like things are going to become clear. It's going to become more apparent. The truth is going to come out and be revealed. Okay. Um, if you're looking for someone new, I feel like someone will be meeting you or conversing with you. Um, there's someone who wants to give you an offer, some kind of offer of love or friendship. Um, so I feel like there may be an invitation that's very close. Okay. We also have Cupid's arrow. So have faith. Love is coming. There will be a surprise invitation um, somewhere in that 48 hours. Someone will give you a surprise invitation to... Um, maybe give you an offer of love or romance. Okay, so very interesting energy for Capricorn. Okay, this is what I have for you, Capricorn. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. I do have a playlist for... Uh, your sun, moon, and rising. So if you like to take a look at, at the March playlist for your sun, moon, and rising for more messages to give you a more clear picture of what's going on, uh, feel free to do so. 
And until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you, love and light.